and that is what I will be using to recreate this look today. These are the four different shades that I have and um, I don't know what shade matches my skin tone. Let's see, I'm gonna do a swatch to try to see what color matches my skin the most. Not bad. It looks like it's the same color as my neck. And also, I think Jenny is a lot fairer than I am, so I should use a lighter color too. So I'm gonna be using 128 Warm Nude. I'm going to use this. It comes in the little Maybelline compact powders. So let's give that a go. So like I was saying earlier, I first got back back into K-pop because of Blackpink. But um, I was a K-pop fan in my earlier years, like when I was in grade six till first year high school. And that started with the likes of 21, Super Junior, Girls' Generation. But then like when I moved back to Manila, because I studied in Pangasinan for a year, when I went back to Manila, I kind of lost like an interest in K-pop, partly because I got so busy with school, and then that's when that's also the time when I started acting. Yeah, I started paying more attention to like Western artists. And then in late 2018, my cousin Ashanti, who's a lot younger than me, influenced me into watching Blackpink. And after watching my first video of Blackpink, I fell deep down into like a black hole of K-pop. There you go, much better. What was I saying? Did I blend it well enough? I think that's pretty okay. So after that, oh wait, concealer first. Okay, so we have the Instant Age re Rewind. And then we have, which one is this? This is number 30, Honey. And this one is 130 Medium. Oh no, how do you make this work? Oh, 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 okay. Do I just hang it upside down? There you go. I usually just use my fingers, but because I wanna look a little more professional. I feel like I'm gonna get mocked for my makeup techniques, because I honestly don't watch a lot of makeup videos. I watch more K-pop videos than I do, than I watch anything else. Mm -hmm. I have very veiny eyes, so I always conceal my eyelids, and I feel like it just helps my eyeshadow stay in place too. Okay, now, so they sent me the 128 Warm Nude Fit Me Matte Coreless Powder, and they also sent it to me in 120 Classic Ivory. It's always me. I hope it didn't crack. It's safe. Okay, so now they sent me primer and I didn't put primer on my face before. Oh my gosh. I messed up. Okay, let's get into eyeshadow. I'm just gonna be using this brush and then I'm gonna use this nude color and put it on my upper eyelids. I don't know how to do my makeup. Okay. So I'm just gonna drag this other side. Does it look even? Now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. So it's just a very, very thin like line. It makes your eyes look more like a cat. This is the Maybelline New York Line Tattoo High Impact Liner. I actually, if there's one thing that I'm talented at doing, I mean, I'm not claiming to be a master or anything, but I think I'm pretty good at doing my own eyeliner. Oh, okay. I can even do it in the car while it's moving. I'm shaking. <laughs> I can't do my liner and I usually can. I mean, I'm not claiming to be a master or anything, but I think I'm pretty good at doing my own eyeliner. I messed up. Two hours later. Okay guys, I'm back after an hour and a half, two hours. But I did my eyeliner off cam and then I realized, oh shoot, I only have five minutes till the meeting. And now I'm here to finish what I came here for. So let's get back to business. After I do my eyeliner, I'm supposed to do my eyebrows. Wait, I forgot to add eye eyeshadow underneath. Okay, I'm gonna use this 
same color that I used on my eyelids to like put a line under my eye also. Oops. Okay, before I used to be a fan of Britney Spears and then um, when her music became less wholesome, it stopped. But it's coming back right now because I saw the hashtag Free Britney Movement on Twitter, I think a week ago. I had two posters of her, I remember. I think that has been something that I have always had. Like, I've always had an idol. I've always idolized someone at some point in my life. And I think that's good because then we get easily inspired by other people. So next up, I'm gonna do my brows. I noticed that Jenny doesn't really like do much with her brows, like ever. It's always pretty natural and it's me versus the box again. Oh wait, I also noticed her eyebrows are kind of like, my eyebrow, I have like a pointy top right here, so I'm not gonna like shade in that part because her eyebrows seem more straight with a slight curve. One eternity later. Okay, so I can't find any eyelashes. I don't know where I put my stash. So we're gonna have to go eyelashes list, but not really because I have my own lashes. I'm just gonna have to curl them properly. So um, for my mascara, I will be using this. It's um, a new product from Maybelline New York. I always do my bottom lashes first because if you do your top lashes and then you do this, the mascara that's on your top lashes is going to get all over your lids. It's so hard not to make a weird face when you're doing your mascara. Now for the scary part. I have to make the little red tear marks or whatever you call those. So my <clears throat> Nino Mickey or Tito Mickey or Mickey C the makeup artist gave me a little tip. He said to use lipstick instead of eyeshadow because it's easier to blend. Now I gotta find a shade that kind of matches the one that under her eyes. So we have to choose something that kind of has like a more reddish tone to it. I think that's this or this. Now we're gonna try out, strip it off. Wow, whatever. Okay, I think this one definitely looks more like what's under her eye. Ooh, this is kind of scary because once I put this, it's gonna mess my whole... Oh, should I put blush on first? So I think I'm gonna go with something that's a little bit lighter so that I can highlight the red on my under eyes more than the, one, the red on my cheeks, if that makes sense. And I'm only gonna put a like, very minimal amount. Okay. So I focus the blush more on like the cheek, the top of my cheekbone um, so that when I put the red here, it doesn't really blend in and make it look like one big red blob. Now for the scary part. Wish me luck. Dressed. Wow, Maybelline getting hot in there. Let's see this. I think this is kind of like a, a little bit more similar to you guys think. So we're going to put some lip gloss on. A few moments later. Okay, we're back. Um, we finally put the wig on properly. So now we're gonna tie it again. I was watching other people doing this look, recreating this look, and some people would put concealer on their bangs to achieve the blonde. I have such a deep, I have a deeper appreciation for hairstylists now. Later. 
Okay, we're back and this is the final look. Um, I've got rings and everything too. All I need is earrings. So I have these really old little vintage Chanel earrings. Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> There you go, so those are the earrings. Okay, and now let's get ready for a photo shoot. Okay, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching me recreate Miss Jenny Kim's look from the How You Like That teaser. I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. And please do let, la, 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 please do let me know in the comments if you guys want to see any more videos like this. And let me know how you think I did. I know I'm not an expert in makeup, but I tried my best. And there was a lot of effort put into this. And I just want to say thank you so much to my glam team, Tito Mickey C, Tito Perry Tabora, and Aris Manal for helping me, me out with like giving me tips on how to fix the hair and everything. Thank you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next vlog.